this is rationalizing denominators continue. Okay. We're going to be using the conjugate this time to rationalize the denominator. Notice here, okay, I can't simply multiply by square root of 5 top and bottom and get rid of the irrational number in the denominator. Okay, if I did that, okay, I get rid of this, this would become 5. But if I just multiply the whole thing, I would also have 2 times square root of 5, which is still irrational. So what you have to do with cases like this is multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. And so in this case, we learned last time that the conjugate of 2 subtracts square root of 5 should be a 2 plus square root of 5. And we also have to multiply the top by the 2 plus square root of 5. So, that gives us, okay, if you remember from last lesson, the first number squared. Okay, so 2 times 2, that's going to give me 4. Subtract the second number squared. Well, square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. Then we multiply the top. 1 times this. Okay, 1 times anything is itself. So 1 gives me 2 plus square root of 5. Now, 4 subtract 5 gives me negative 1. On the top, I have 2 plus square root of 5. And now, to carry this forward, I cannot have a negative on the denominator, so I bring it to the top. And I divide it by 1, so this just becomes negative 2 subtract square root of 5. Next. Same principle, same exact thing as what we were doing before. Okay. Multiply both top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. And so the conjugate here would be 2 square root of 5. Subtract 3. Opposite sign in the middle. So I'm doing the same thing on the top. So on the bottom. This is going to give me 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. Subtract 3 times 3 is 9. Again, remember the middle terms disappeared. This is basically that's our a, this is our a squared, this is our b, this is subtract our b squared. On the top, same rules as before, okay? multiplying rationals and irrationals. I go 4 times 2 gives me 8, square root of 5. 4 times negative 3 is just subtract 12. So I end up with a little bit of mental math here on the denominator. 20 subtract 9 is going to leave you 11. And then the top is as is. So there we go, rationalized denominator. One more, a little harder. This one, again, here's my denominator. The conjugate is going to be 4 plus, so that's a subtract 4 plus 2 square root 2. On the top, same thing. this out. And on the bottom, a squared. 4 and 4, 16. Subtract. My b squared, well, 2 squared is going to give me 4. Square root 2 times square root 2 gives me 2. Now, the top is a little harder. This is where we use multiplying out binomials. And okay? If you like, okay? remember back to using four. First times first, so that square root of three times four gives me four square root of three. Okay. Next up is the outside, so square root of three times two square root of two. So this gives me plus two 
2 square root of 6. And the inside, so 2 times 4 gives me 8. So plus 8. And then the last, 2 times 2 square root of 2, which leaves me with 4 square root of 2. And we'd love to see, is there anything that can be simplified up here? Square root 3, no. Square root 6, no. Square root 2, no. Those can't be simplified any further. And so we rewrite this with 16 subtract 8 is going to give me 8, the denominator, the top. And rearrange it however you like. We're going to just leave it in the same order. 4 square root 3 plus 2 square root 6 plus 8 plus 4 square root 2. So I just went in order from probably the easiest down to the hardest. And it's the same procedure every time. You're always just multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. And you end up with a rationalized denominator. <clears throat>